Hello everybody, good afternoon to you. Matt Stewart here from Entrepreneur Me and it's my pleasure to be talking with my American friends during this really exciting National Entrepreneurship Week. I've been following you on Twitter and I can see the fantastic work that's going on all over America encouraging entrepreneurship and it's been a joy for me to follow you and to see the good work that you're doing. But you can probably tell by my short and by my accent that I'm not from America. I'm actually from Scotland and I am the CEO of the business here, Entrepreneur Me. And I thought I would share just a little message with you. One, to say hello during this exciting week and two, to share with you a little bit a little bit of an insight into our American and Scottish friendship, partnership that um, has been going on for lots and lots and lots of years. Of course, we, we have lots in common. Um, we have someone in common who's very close to my um, heart. Um, you may be familiar with this man here. Uh, this, of course, is um, Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie, I say, and you know, in my work in schools, I tell young people that Andrew Carnegie was Scotland's greatest ever entrepreneur. But of course, you American guys may claim some um, ownership of Carnegie. You, you may know that when Carnegie was just a boy, 12 years of age, he set off from Dunfermline in Scotland with his family to um, a new life, a new opportunity in Pittsburgh in America. Um, interesting, lots of interesting things about Carnegie, but this book, Little Boss, is the story of Carnegie's life, as is this book here. Um, this is a fantastic book too, another book all about the story of Carnegie's life. He really was quite a, a fascinating man. He, um, of course, built his business and um, then made the decision that he was going to give away all of his money um, in the remainder of his life. At one point, I think it may have been 1908, Carnegie was... Um, described as the world's richest man. And he said, yeah, it's on this little badge here. He said, the man who dies rich dies disgraced. So Carnegie then on, went on a mission to, um, he went on a mission to give all his money away. And in his lifetime, he was responsible for the opening of 2,500 libraries all over the world. He was responsible for the funding of the Carnegie Hall in New York, for the funding of the Carnegie Hall in Dunfermline. He was responsible for the funding of the Peace Palace at The Hague in the Netherlands. And he was responsible for lots of things in university funding, education funding. And, you know, the man made a, an incredible do-good impact in his life. Entrepreneurship, in my opinion, has the ability to create better futures, uh, has the ability that if we can engage young people in learning about entrepreneurship, it has the ability to motivate them and it has the ability to be able to encourage them to make a massive difference in the world. Now, I wanted to show you a few things. Please indulge me if you don't mind. I wanted to show you a few things from this book here, Little Boss. When I was preparing this video, I opened the book up and um, I found a few things inside it. And if you don't mind, um, I'd like to share them with you, if that's okay. This photograph here, it's not such a great photograph, but this, is an actual fact, is the Andrew Carnegie Museum in Dunfermline, the Birthplace Museum. This is an extended uh, building, that, a small part of it was where Andrew Carnegie was born. And if any of you get the chance to come over to Scotland, definitely put it on your list. The Carnegie Birthplace Museum is fantastic. And you get to see the small room that Andrew Carnegie was born in. And uh, it's quite remarkable. From a small room, the man um, went on to big, big achievements. Um, outside the Carnegie Museum, there's a little plaque on the wall and it simply says, here is the birthplace of um, Andrew Carnegie. 
uh, which is pretty cool. This thing that's in the book too, we'll have a little look at this postcard. I'm one of these people, maybe like you, that picks up different things, you know, from everywhere and stuff. And this postcard is a, a, a picture of Carnegie. Um, but I've got lots of things in here. Look at this. This is a first day edition. Andrew Carnegie stamps. And um, yeah, brilliant to have. And I'm glad I found it again. Um, another postcard. This is from the Carnegie Museum. It says on it, A whole clear, glorious life lies before you. Achieve, achieve. And I guess that's what we're trying to do with entrepreneurship education, isn't it? Encourage young people to achieve, achieve and to be like Carnegie and to do good with their achievements. Um, there's no clearer message than that about what entrepreneurship education can do. Also in the book is this um, little booklet. This is from uh, Skibo Castle, which was Carnegie's home in Scotland. Now, I've never been to Skibo Castle, but it's a private members club and you can search it on Google and it is absolutely magnificent, really. Do you know, if you're on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, Skibo have, you know, daily pictures of the place and the facilities there look absolutely incredible. And this was Carnegie's private home when he visited Scotland. Definitely worth um, a visit. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to get along too. But this is, you know, it's an absolutely fantastic um, place to visit. Now, just, just to leave you, it's National uh, Entrepreneurship Week, as you know, over in America. And I wanted to leave you with this little excerpt from the Carnegie book, Little Boss. 